It's time to go where summer leads you during the season of discovery at Team Mazda. Transcend ordinary in the Mazda CX-5 or experience the next level of luxury in the all-new Mazda CX-90. Come by today and discover Mazda at Baton Rouge's Mazda dealer, Team Mazda. That would be concerning and maybe set a precedent moving forward. If you have plans to be outside, you might hit a couple of these little passing showers. A drug bust and a few arrests made. Look at what they hauled in here. Hello, good morning. How are you? I'm great. It's Friday. Oh, that's yeah. right. I haven't seen you in, uh, I know. in a couple, couple minutes. I've only got to join you on the tail end of uh, this uh, week. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Well, it's, it's meant earlier this morning. We're just, oh, we're yeah, just like nonstop. Yeah. We're just always, always that's together. It. I like the sun yeah. at work, right? We're always at it. Oh, always God. on display. Always going. Always something going on here at WAFP. It's a stupid thing. Um, <laughs> and that was actually, welcome to it, everybody. WAFP Plus and 9 News Now. We were talking with Jared this morning. He's like, you are going to hate this. You're going to hate everything about this yeah. forecast. And it's... Look, uh, look, it could always be worse. We've seen temperatures around yes. the globe. We've seen temperatures in other parts of the country as well. But, man, it's just hot. And something to take seriously. Yes, Jared, something you said this morning struck me pretty seriously. 76 is the lowest temperature we're going to see for, what, the next 10 days? Yeah, we're going to see a lot of those low temperatures struggling to get below 80, kind of like what we saw several weeks ago. And man, oh man, welcome to it at 7 in the morning. It looks hot out there already with that sun out blazing early and often. And there you go. Temperature right now in the mid 70s. That's about as cool as we're getting right there. Going forward, the nights and mornings, those temperatures are going to start to creep up. The high temperatures certainly are already doing that. Made it up to 99 yesterday. That didn't break a record, but it tied a record back in the early 1900s. Eight more records records up for grabs going forward and our average high this time of year should be around 92 degrees. Not only that, but the peak heat index readings, those are going to steadily go up over the next several days. Now for today at 99, the way it's going to feel and be outside, we don't have a heat advisory in effect, but we might start to see those heat advisories come back next week. By the way, here are some of the records we're talking about over the next seven days and every single day we are going to see those temperatures at record values or even breaking records. And again, those are all all long standing records. Nothing on radar, at least nothing in the way of rain that's going to affect us. The graph model is going to show if we can get any rain relief in the area whatsoever, and it doesn't look like it. This is later in the afternoon, 4 p.m., 5 p.m. I'm um, going to give us a 10% chance, and that's 10% at best. Same deal for Saturday. We'll freeze it up here. This is Saturday afternoon. Of course, your outdoor plans are good to go. They're not going to be spoiled by rain, but they could be spoiled by the heat. So, the name of the game the next few days, try to get those outdoor activities in earlier in the morning. You wait to the afternoon, you're playing with dangerous heat. High pressure to the west encroaches on our area. More moisture starts to come in, but it's not going to translate to anything in the rain gauges. We really don't have anything to really trigger a good chance of rain over here. So the only thing we're going to see is more moisture, more humidity as we go forward. But as I mentioned, it doesn't give us more rain over the next seven days. We might not even see anything significantly measurable. And that means if you need to get out there and, and water the lawn, probably a good time to do that. Take you out over to the tropics. Actually Actually, I've got to check because there have been a couple of updates I can tell by looking at a couple of the new X's. But at the last check, 50-50 chance of this wave right here becoming the next name storm. That would be Tropical Storm Emily. Good news, even if it does form, it is no threat right now to the Gulf. That's what we like to hear. We've got a few more plumes of African dust, but we start to see that kind of relinqu relinquish itself as we get to August. So we're not going to get too much more help as far as the dust is concerned. Next 48 hours, barely any rain whatsoever. If you get one of those isolated showers in the afternoon, you are one of the lucky ones. Pinned it out at 10% later in the day. High temperature 99 should feel like 99. That's why there isn't a heat advisory in effect for today. Overnight tonight, as I mentioned, those overnight lows, they're going to start to creep up more and more as we go forward. We're going to get into that old pattern that we had where we get to about 80 degrees, and then that's about it. We stall out there. 100 Saturday, 100 Sunday, 20% chance in the afternoon, and that's about as good as we can do as far as rain chances. The highest rain chance we have right now, 30% at the tail end of the 10 day. Right now, the only good news that we have is that in the tropics, we don't have anything threatening the Gulf. But these are the dog days of summer. This is another dangerous heat wave, and we got to take all the necessary precautions. At 7.07, Johnny, I hope you've got better news. Uh, well, so far, so good in the Baton Rouge area. Our drive times are coming in. Beautiful uh, shot from one of our viewers. Sent me the picture of the bridge uh, uh, months ago, so I've been using it. 16 minutes from Gonzales and 11 from Denham. Those are normal. No, no problems at all. Here's the 1012 merge right through the construction area and uh, definitely ramping up there. And uh, I-10 I at the City Park Lakes right near Dalrymple. A lot of road work on Dalrymple. 
uh, narrow lanes as well. And bridge traffic is still okay. Just a little break tapping coming on to the bridge from LA-1 in the uh, Port Allen area. Kind of widen our shot, take you over to Hammond. Here's Hammond right here. And then right past Hammond on I-12, one of the first exits you'll come to is the Roberts exit right here. That's LA-445. And we have a backup. It's about uh, a little less than two miles, about a mile 1.8, uh, 1.7 before there's a wreck right there going toward Covington. So if you're in that area, just are going to be in that area, just make sure you're aware you have a little bit of a backup on I-12. 708, we call it 9 News Now. We do it every weekday morning to kind of give you a summary of uh, some of the bigger uh, stories we covered during 9 News this morning. For that, we go to Studio B, Liz Cohen, Matt Williams. Johnny, thanks. And right now, actually, we need you to keep an eye out for this guy. So this is who Crime Stoppers of the Capital Region need you to keep an eye out for. This is Gregory Jackson. He's actually uh, wanted for a number of things, including cruelty to juveniles and domestic abuse battery. But he's actually on a list of some of the most wanted offenders. Yeah, so that's actually what you can do when you find this story. Uh, it's waiting for you. WFB.com and your 9 News app. And the idea is to, of course, share this story, put as many eyes on this as possible. When you do find the story, to Liz's point, what you're going to see is this link right here's a big blue link identifying um, some of the domestic offenders, alleged domestic offenders that officials in our area really want to find. Yeah. And he made their top 10. So when you find this story, understand who you're looking at and why officials are looking for him. Yeah. Make the phone call to Crime Stoppers. It works because of you. Let's see if we can help officials get going in the right direction. We also need your tip on another case here. So oh think gosh. back to exactly two years ago to Pretty this day, July 27th, mm -hmm. 2020. Well, Baton Rouge police are trying to solve an unsolved homicide. Right. They're really asking for tips here. I know this is a while back, two years. It but is. You never know what may jog your memory to help them kind of close this case to help the family of Kevin Hardy, also known as Keisha Hardy, uh, get some closure here. They, it was, uh, to your point, 2020, July, 20, uh, July 27th, 2020. This is uh, uh, along uh, North Harco Drive, right, where they discovered uh, Kevin Keisha's body, multiple gunshot wounds. Yeah. But that's as far as this investigation has gone. It is now two years with nobody arrested for this shooting. So, you know, every once in a while, Crime Stoppers and, and all the organizations they work with, they yeah. put these cold cases back out there to see maybe now somebody feels okay saying something because right. they know and we all know somebody knows multiple people know about all of these things yeah. so is now the right time if somebody feels safe crime stoppers is the number to dial no one's ever gonna know who you are anonymous Absolutely. please call in uh we've been talking a lot about this and actually i just got a letter as yeah. well about the garbage and recycling kind of changing in east baton rouge parish they want to make sure officials do that you know about these changes. Yeah, heads up here. If you have more than one garbage bin that does the collections twice a week, mm -hmm. well, you will be charged that extra fee starting September 1st, an extra $35 fee if you've got that extra bin for them to collect. So you've got some options here. Right. So what you can do is you can actually get rid of that bin. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to worry about it, which is what, uh, in, in particular, my family is going to be doing. Right. Because you still get the twice a week pickup. I'm like, I did, I'm like, just give everybody two bins and reduce the yeah, amount of time. Just do sense. one pickup. But right. no. So what they what they what you can do is you can get rid of that extra bin, no charge. But if you decide to keep it, you're going to get the extra charge as well. Yeah. So just under that, that's one of the things going on. Understand this whole new contract had some other stuff in it. Yes. If you want to read up on it, all the information is waiting for you. That's it. Okay. We're, so following this, so we've been talking oh, about yeah. this measure for teachers, right? Yes. Teachers in Livingston Parish advocating for a parish one cent sales tax to give mm -hmm. them a ten percent boost and pay. Well, that didn't pass because voters didn't approve that measure. Right. So Superintendent Joe Murphy says they're trying to work out something to help teachers for the following school year. For the first time ever, they brought in a third party yeah. to go over their finances and see and take a look because the voters said no. Right. But clearly teachers um, in most places don't get what they deserve. Right. So how do they find some money to maybe rework some of this? They're expected to bring in their final recommendations next Thursday. Coming up for their meeting, normal meeting, we'll let you know what they end up having to say. So speaking of things going forward, this is thankfully going forward, but right. it's been decades in the making. And look, we know it. A lot of you are tired of it. You keep hearing updates, 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 right? And a lot of them have been similar, but we have to understand the reality of it, right? Construction costs, costs for this project yeah. have tripled since the beginning here. Yeah, and so right. now we have a projected estimated completion date. Could be as soon as the end of next year, 2024, mm -hmm. or the fall of 2025. That's kind of a big range when we're talking about things here, but there's a lot of things that could change between now and then as well. Yeah, they're talking about, the, you know, the core 
Corps and DOT officials saying, look, we've got half a dozen or so un, uh, big ticket items still yeah. to get done on this. Right. Uh, even the rocks to line the, 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 the canal I mean, could cost more. So every little thing can change. We'll see when that ultimately happens. But hopefully this thing gets done sooner rather than later. It has been a long yes. time coming. Hey, heads up here, uh, Dion Guillory with the Consumer Alerts Report. Mm -hmm. So obviously what you feed your children, really crucial, and you have to know what's going in it. Well, some of these baby food items found to have contained some heavy metals and toxins right. in them. So Dion Guillory's listed out all the products, the labels you need to look out for. Check in your pantry, check the story. Uh, check this. Do you have the back to school supplies you need? It is that time of year. Cali Hubbard was actually live over at the uh, campus, Southern University up on the bluff. Yeah. They got a big back to school expo about to hit all the supplies. They sure do. They've got a number of different things happening from backpack giveaways. They're also giving away some uh, uh, hurricane supplies as well. So if you're trying to knock everything out, they've got that happening at Southern. There you go. But we also have this happening here at the Care South Medical and Dental Clinics in Plaquemine and Donaldsonville. So today from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. over at both locations, they're giving away some of these free supplies too. Here's the thing, you need to have your kid in the car. Both of the events right. at Plaquemine and Donaldsonville are drive through giveaway, but in order to receive the supplies and a free produce box, yep. your kid needs to be in the car. That's kind of the key, right? They don't, they don't want just mom and dad like, I need yeah. some pencils. I need some pencils. Right. No, for the kids. Um, Y'all saw this story? Guys, did you guys see this story? The VRPD folks rescuing an, a, an hey. alligator? Hey. I mean, he's he just a little fella. The gator, I mean. Where, <laughs> would you go jump in and rescue a little baby gator? No. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> he knows. He said, I'm not going to even try. Johnny, would you try? Uh, I, I would do that. Yeah. A little baby gator? No bigger than that one. No bigger than that one. We're going to hold him to it. Oh, That's Lord. Here right. we go. <laughs> Are you going to put one in his house just so he can try? Crocodile hunter style? Uh, I, I would not rescue a kitty cat. Okay, maybe I, I would. Oh, oh, my God. That was personal I right know. there. It kind of flows together. I think, together, I think a baby uh, gator. Asian baby Nation gator, gator <laughs> wrestling is a show for the plus. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, I, I think it. a lot of people would pay to see that. <laughs> a lot of people I'm would in. pay to see a lot of things like me shut up once in a while. I've been, I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> no. We love it. We love it. In fact, there's more of it. We'll see you in about 10 minutes on the Mothership. Have a great day. You could be driving Smooth handling and smart interior styling. Just two reasons why the all-new Honda CRV was once again named a car and driver's 10 best trucks and SUV list. Come see your new CRV today at Louisiana's number one Honda dealer. Team Honda on Segan Lane.